could be Homo sapiens. Uh, and Homo sapiens, sapiens in, in, in Islam, in Jewish program in Islam, that, that say haram, you know, haram, something that came from the uh, Hebrews or Jewish law, you know, that is the case of, case of Spinoza that have put in the, that was put in, uh, in the haram, you know, excluded. It is about that, you know, that is the base in the, in how, in some sort of the economy and the relation and the rapport of the sour or governor with the life. Uh, um, maybe I am so far from the topic, but uh, I think to understand better or more clearly what happened in the Muslim world, we need to understand the place of governor, uh, sour and uh, sovereignty and his relationship with the economy and with the life and the production of homo sapiens, you know. Okay, in this time, what happened? What happened in the Kurdistan, you know, a, a region administrated, you know, by the assembly or the exodus, the place that uh, formed or created by this exodus, that is uh, in some sort, that is a, uh, 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 no man's land is another uh, name for the haram, you know, haram region, you know, haram region is somewhere we could kill without to be pursued for the homicide, you know, we, we became killable, you know, we became killable. And who have the right to declare a region or a life key label. That is the governor, that is the imam, that is the caliph. That say the one who is in this place have the right to declare a life haram or licit. That say he have the right to make haram something that was licit or make licit something that was haram. For me, it is, that is one of the possible formulation for what happened in this day. And okay, to resist to this sort of power, you, you need another thing. You need another thing. You need uh, to speak or to act in the name of another thing, not in the name of God, not in the name of nation, not in the name of you know, you need another thing, another reference. That was, that's for what this moment for me is the, we could say, fundator moment. You know, the Exodus, you know, the Jewish, for example, the Jewish history start from the Exodus from the Egypt that say, uh, going out from the camp, from the state, and try or attempt to create another thing. You know, that is for me in some hope what happened in this time for the Kurdish people. That is, that is, uh, I am agree, it is about the culture, it is about the land, it is about the interests of people, but uh, the form or by them, the forms by them, we looking for to realize it or interest or resist against the state and against the power is so interesting, you know? In this time, for example, the anti amps the anti amps works with Khomeini. They are the declaration of anti amp and Stalinist that support the fatwa. Fatwa, do you know what is fatwa? <laughs> the religious declaration, the fatwa of Khomeini against the Kurdish people and the Kurdish Kurdish, Kurdish creation, Kurdish region, you know, there are the declaration of support declaration, support letter from the Gosh anti ambassador Stalinist or somehow Trotskyist. You know, that is about that. That Khomeini have the, the, the famous formulation about the Kurdish region in this time, in the Kurdistan. They say Khomeini clearly, they say uh, the problem in Kurdistan is 
the communism. The communism, you know? And that, that's, that was not right, you know? They were the communists, okay? Okay, the organization communists, but the form of this organization was not the party or I don't know, party revolution are the people or the Khmer Reds, you know? That is not about that, it's not, it's about the assembly. I want to have my assembly. I could be a part of state by assembly. I need in somehow my autonomy. You know, that is what we could call autonomy in the Kurdish region in, the, in this time, you know. Uh, and, uh, mm, but uh, another thing interesting that happened in this time, uh, you know, the last day of the Exodus, there are uh, the people of San Andes, the uh, cultural and political capital of course in Iran, you know, the uh, red, uh, red for now, uh, till the, since this time till now, a red really, the capital and city, that was a, a march, you know, by work for uh, one week from San Andes to Marimar. And when uh, the walk or the march of San Andres arrive nearby the Marijuan, Marijuan camps, we have some slogan in Kurdish. But between the Kurdish slogan, we have some slogan in Persian that say, you, you could imagine, Jewish and Gentiles. <laughs> Jewish and Jewish, Jewish and that say Kurds, you know, upon us this image and the, the gentles nations, you know, the stranger, foreigner, I don't know, maybe. Uh, uh, the slogan in, in Persian say, we will make all the Iran Kurdistan. We will transform all the Iran into Kurdistan. All the Iran must became Kurdistan. Okay, in this dialect, in this dialectic, uh, when all the Iran became Kurdistan, there is no more, there is no more about the Iran. Iran will be vanished, you know, disparation. We have not more the Iran if all the Iran became Kurdistan. But in another world, you know, in another world, from the, another pole of this dialect, dialectic, if all the Iran became Kurdistan, there is no more Kurdistan. <laughs> you know, the, that is a dialectic when that could resolve the question of identity. You know, when the, uh, the people and the gentle became the same to create another people. And that show us the people is a political construction. That is not about, uh, you know, that is something more important from the notion of the class for me. That is something more than that. That's, that is something, you know, for example, even now there are, there are the people in Kurdish region, the writer or in our, of all the world, you know, they want to, they try to explain the Kurdish question just by class struggle. Yes, there are the class struggle. I am okay. I have not the problem with, with this notion. And somehow I am Marxian, okay. Not Marxist, Marxian. But, but the, it is about another thing. How, by which, by which politic we could solve in the same time the question of class and the question of identity. And uh, avoid, avoid to the class struggle became itself an identity. That is for me about that, you know, uh, to, to be ready to become people in each moment, in each moment. That is what happened again now since uh, one week ago in Kurdistan and Iran. You know, that is so strange, that is so strange. The slogan uh, came from the Kurdish histories, historical Kurdish struggle, uh, the, the woman, the, the life, the liberty, uh, translated itself in general in the domain, um, in all the, of the country in Iran 
for the Arabic Arab people, for the Persian people, for the Kurdish people, uh, translated itself, you know, al Mar'a, al Horia, al Hayat, you know, or Jinji and Azadi in Kurdish, or for example, Zan and Deji Azadi in the street of Tehran or another. Another, another street, uh, another, another city of Iran. Let's see the same dialect. Let's say by participating in a politic, we could for second time or for the first time in the history of Iran, create another entity, create another scene, create really a people, really a people. But what was what we have for now, uh, officially, that is not a people, that is not a nation, that is impose, uh, imposed by the power, by the force, by the force of, uh, for example, by the force of administration, you know, by the force of police. There are something more interesting, you know, the, the younger who have killed by the, by the police, Iranian police, you know, is uh, a official name, official name, official name is Mahsa. We read in the Figaro, in the you know, New York Times, in the BBC, or uh, anywhere we have this time as Mahsa. But this young girl have another name. That is so strange, have another name. Let's say uh, the Kurdish people, the Kurdish individual that, uh, that uh, have a Kurdish name, they have in the same time the official name because the Kurdish name are not the official name. Okay, <laughs> that is like the Jewish, you know, for example, Porcelain have another name, Fasah, who Fasah, you know? <laughs> you know, Porcelain in the Jewish community, he have that say, that is the uh, secret relationship of the Jewish individual to the Abraham and the, to the promise, promise uh, that is more than flesh. You know, there are two to two sort of relationship to the Abraham by flesh, by body, by the by the blood and by the promise. Okay, okay. We have an official name for this young girl that is Massa. But she had another name, Gina, that came from uh, life, you know, Jean in Kurdish, that's a life, you know. Okay, uh, okay. He, he, in the stone of her tomb, that's, that's wrote, uh, someone wrote the forest, the forest, uh, the forest uh, moment, uh, the forest uh, horror. Dear Gina, you are alive, you are not dead, you know, you are not dead. But in this stone, we have the secret name, you know, but she has killed by the official name. Okay, that say us something, you know, about the life of this uh, community, of these people named Kurd, you know, they say us another thing, you know, that say about two names, two education, two music, two form of life, you know, two subjectivity, official and with the permission, the state and the police, and something that we have as culture, and name and music and dance in our house. Okay, what is the the, the means of uh, of uh, translation or our transformation of this uh, uh, hidden tradition? That is so strange. Okay, we have not the school Greek. We have not the ancient uh, literature that's great. We have not the religion, as called, you know. Uh, we don't create, we have not the prophet, you know. <laughs> okay, we are, we are not the, the people, you know, but we are a people by politic. Okay, what is the means of intergenerational? means for transforming or translating the culture and the language. That is uh, 
by the music. Really, that is by the music. That's say in the Kurdish society, in the Kurdish politics, the most uh, dominant discourse and media is now on all the time was not the, the book, the, my romance, my article, blah, blah. No, that's not the speech. They, they, they exist. But if you want to, to do something really, you must to create, you must to, to now, to now sing, you must to create a music, a melody. And you must to write, for example, a poem, you know, and the poet and the singer, singers have the role of the prophets and the martyrs in this community for these people. You know, Ojalan, for example, Ojalan Abdullah Ojalan, the great reader of Kurdish, uh, the, the ancient Marxist, Leninist, after Maoist, after confederalism, democratic, blah, blah. But when he want to, to be a real relationship to touch the people, he spoke, he spoke about Darwish Abdul, you know, for example, he gave the, a hero and a senior and the lower the singer and the lover who sing for the people, you know? I am like Tarwisha Abdul. And he wrote a poem for, for the first time in his life. You know, this leader, you know, he read a poem. He, he, he wrote a poem for who? For Darwisha Abdi. That is, the, okay. Uh, uh, it is about, about that. Uh, for example, I have two, two friend musicians. There are in Berlin and in Köln, Excel. Uh, they create yesterday and today two music for Gina, for this young girl. Okay. That is what we could an intervene. That is our intervention. Uh, the, the greatest uh, media is the music and what uh, and the literature. You know, in the literature, that is a poem. Poetry. Uh, it is about the culture, and uh, I'm so sorry. I I, uh, I go from there from this point to this point to this point. Uh, you know, but um, I don't know another form. I don't know another form of speech or speaking. You know, uh, and uh, uh, it is better. You know, we are we, like, we speak as two friends. I'm so sorry. You have the power as the friends said. You could you could speak. Sorry, sorry. No, this was absolutely wonderful. Um, because one of the things that we which you really showed, you went through you know, the the history of the, the 1979 revolt, and you, you situated that in a longer history, in a bigger history of, um, you know, this moment of, of revolt, of resistance, and a longer history of the Kurdish resistance itself. Um, and then you also, you know, really showed exactly what we're trying to do is understand the continuities of resistance. And one of the things that we find when you're looking at, you know, African and African descended or indigenous movements, there are continuities there. And some of the continuities that you spoke about is even this, this idea of, you know, two names, right? Um, you have the sacred name and then you have the accepted official name that the state gives. But the sacred name is the name that carries on, you know, the genealogy of the people, the history of the people. And you're remembering, even in the context of what just happened with the young, um, a young woman, you're still carrying on, you know, and placing that in this longer Kurdish resistance, this Kurdish movement. Um, and so with that being said, I mean, you know, there was there was so much that you laid out, uh, particularly this idea of autonomy, this idea of land being important in the context of creating one's identity. But at the same time, being able to control one's particular place in the world. At the same time, it's in relation to this all-powerful being, this state entity that has two, two power, right? 
there's an official administrative power, but then there's a sacred power that's given to it through the interpretation of Islam. Exactly. Yeah, it was important because again, one of the continuities that was that was running through my mind was this notion of maroonage in the in African history, where you had uh, Africans who were enslaved and they and they they escaped, you know, the 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 chains of chattel slavery and created these autonomous regions that were a threat to the structure of a plantation state or the plantation economy. So we see these continuities consistently, you know, through a people who are culturally sound and stable and also attempting to defend their humanity by using the different categories of humanity, culture, uh, you know, interpretations, uh, relationships to land. Uh, how we redescribe or redistribute power amongst our own people uh, becomes very important as well. So anything you can respond to anything that I just said or add to anything I just said as well. Yeah, I, mean, I had another idea about the land and the, the relationship between the land, but after that, I will have uh, some questions. Okay, uh, James, you know, um, I remember in our village, on or another village in our city and the in our region, uh, you know, mm, there are some source of water, some forest, some lands that uh, are in some sort sacred, you know, but the term used in the Kurdish language that not sacred, you know. Uh, my mother said or said. Uh, for now that this land or this tree or this forest or this source of water, you know, is sacred. Okay, then you don't have to appropriate it. East. It belongs to no one, no one. But it belongs to the, um, she said, this, for example, this water have a chawam. Uh, Okay, Hawan, that say in Kurdish, Hawan, that's the property, this owner, have an owner. I have uh, this pen. I am the Hawan of this pen. Okay. But the, we call the God by the same name. Hold on. You know, I am the God of this. Okay. Uh, that is so strange. This source of water, I could uh, drink. Okay, but I have not to appropriate it to myself. This forest is here. I have not the right to touch it. Sometimes this source of water is in the center of my land, my privilege land, but it is not mine. This forest is in the center of my land, but it's not mine. Okay, that was uh, belonged to the someone that we don't know, the Chawan, that say God from the name of the God who came from the same source. But that is not the God, you know, Chawan is not Khoda. You know, there are two things different. That is not God, that is Chawan, someone or some power that we don't know. And we have not the right to touch it. We could, we could drink you could not to block it, for example, you know, or uh, interdict this source to the another one, you know, that is not uh, for confiscation, that is so strange, but that is not haram, you know, we could go in this forest, we could dance in this forest, but we, could, we have not the right to cut the tree in this forest, or we have not to cultivate in this part of land, for example. Okay, but what do the governor, the sower, you know, for the state, all this land or source property in the territory that in the tradition had or have the, had the Khawan that was untouchable, is legitimate to touch for the governor, for the sower. That is the base of economic politics of sovereignty in this type of state. 
for the people, there are something out of property, you know, out of that, and we respect that. But for the power, for the state, all belong to the state. Okay, that is an example of, uh, you, you know, how the economy in this power, in this sort of power world, and in the popular tradition works. There are this difference. By this difference, uh, that is um, for me the, so strange. For example, uh, maybe by this sort of interdiction, we could re resolve some, in some sort, some question about the ecology in our time. But saying, in the name of the power, in the name of the state, we have the right, we are lawful to touch why, what that we want, what we desire, without interdiction, without sacred, without no sin. You have the right now to touch all the things in the name of the, in the state, in the name of the God, in the name, in the name, in the name. That is about, okay. Uh, uh, but as you mentioned, uh, James, what we need, it is a question of continuation, continuity, and to, to, to find the point in common between this uh, and and genius people, black people, you know, Chiapas, Kurdish people in some sort, you know, or all the oppressed, or the oppressed people, you know, how we could find, uh, we could relate, we could, uh, we could find the contact between this struggle, between these people, between this tradition, that is what we need. And that is what could be another sort, really, really, for me. I'm honest in this point. Uh, I'm frank that uh, is another sort of, uh, you know, solidarity international or another sort of internationalism. Why now? Why now? Uh, you know, for example, what happened in the marijuana in this time that say unity of the peasant for me came from the film created, directed by Elia Kazan in the time, Viva Zapata. When I compare the forms, the discourse, the barb, you know, the sort of organization in the marijuana in this time, and I compare it with what happened in the Viva, Zap Viva Zapata, Elia Kazan, there are so many things in common, and why not? And I found a testimony, testimony said uh, one time, one of the friends of the uh, representation of the delegation of Kurdish people in Mali, one day, to, I with Fuad, we was in Tehran, in the crane of cinema that was uh, Viva Zapata, and we found some money to buy two tickets, you know, to go to uh, see this film. And that is the time that is in the same years that the organization of Komala, the uh, organization, re revolutionary organization of uh, rep repressive of Kurdistan has created. That is a coincidence, that is something in common, you know? Or I have another testimony, I have another testimony that say, we was influenced by Elia Kazan, by, but by the hippies movement, you know, in our, in United States, by MSSR, you know, by, 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 by Franz Fanon, you know? We have this uh, type of element in common. That is for what we, we must to work together. I'm so sorry, you speak Buku. No, <laughs> no, it was important. And also it was important to really highlight, you know, what we're trying to do is really identify the points of continuity. Um, and this goes into a lot of the work that I do in critical consciousness formation is that it's one thing to be conscious, it's another thing to be critically conscious and in order to become critically conscious, we have to find continuities globally 
and resistance movement and the Kurdish resistance movement has so many similarities, particularly uh, as we, as you really laid out today with the resistance that, you know, people, Africa and people of African descent have had, but also uh, other indigenous groups. Um, and so in order to really build what you were mentioning, this notion of a more substantive solidarity is one thing to just say, okay, I know, you know, this particular history, I know how it connects, but it's also the idea is, is what we're going to do about it. Exactly. Because, you know, folk are still, um, you know, people are still being impacted by these power relations. We just saw this in, in you know, we see this happening right now with the uh, young woman who was, uh, you know, who was, who was, who was killed not so long ago. We see this happening with police violence, particularly here in the United States, but also across other places. So, you know, this this conversation and this particular uh, initial conversation, because, again, there's also the notion of translation uh, and then transliteration about how do we un how do we speak to each other in a way that is, uh, you know, a connective, uh, substantive. So, you know, again, you know, as we kind of close out, I, again, I want to honor your time. Uh, um, and did you have any any more uh, responses or any more that you would like to share based upon the continuities uh, that you kind of see that we can do moving forward? Are there some points of continuity that, you know, people can see right now uh, that they can do other than just kind of... Uh, looking at the news or looking at, you know, just kind of uh, what we call it, looking looking from afar, how can we really understand, you know, connecting things that we could connect on at this particular moment right now? Uh, you mentioned the continu continuity in the Kurdish movement or in the contact with around the movement. For in the Kurdish movement, you want to say, you want to say, uh, for, for, uh, you, you know, for me, it is about James, uh, what why I could see or proclaim. That is uh, something like a mud metaphor, you know, in the in a long roman or in a long poem, you know, we have the motive or the metaphor that came back that realizes or manifests itself in, this, in, in each time in another form, in another name, in another, you know, image that is, that is for me of it, the continuity, continuity of a movement could be something like that. That is not the same thing that came back all the time, but it is about the inner dialectic of a movement that say by resisting to the oppressor, the resisting subject change itself and the oppressor in the same day. That say in a dialectical process, uh, as the subject of resistance, I develop myself, my subjectivity, my form, I create another thing. I develop my language, my vocabulary, my imagination, my motive, that is something about that. You know, for me, uh, it is about that, let's say, but some, somehow, you know, <laughs> that is something that came back in, in, with the same word, with the same form, with, but not in the same place or, by the same person, you know, for example, in the, in the ceremony of this uh, young girl in, in, the far, in, in the first morning, you know, uh, I, in, the, in the net, I found two Yuido to, to chant, to sing, you know, that uh, belong to the time of the Exodus. 40 years ago. But we, we, uh, we seen now by another subject, you know, by another person in another place for another opportunity, for another question, for an, in another ceremony, you know. 
And what was strange for me, the, the partly most of the people that was there that I spoke, I speak about it, some hundred people, you know, some hundred, some thousand people in the ceremony, uh, maybe the half of the people know already this scene revolution, this human, the revolutionary human in Kurdish that is interdict, that is not lawful, you know, where they learned, where they learned the same revolutionary Kurdish, you know, that is, that allow me to imagine in some hope a uh, you know continuity. I, I will give you another uh, another example. For for example, about the uh, about the continuity, about the slogan, the slogan, the the woman, life, liberty, you know, uh, or freedom. Okay, this slogan was invented in Paris. In Paris, in the ceremony of uh, the terror. Uh, Three, three militant courts from the PKK movement killed in Paris by the police court, you know, by an agent of police court in uh, uh, the nine years ago, you know, there was a slogan, Jean uh, Jean Azadi, okay. <laughs> Let's see. But in Sakhalin, in Iran, you know, in the same time, in this morning, we we see that this slogan came back to become generally the slogan of all the people in Iran. That uh, show us or lets us to imagine a song or in some sort of continuity and a dialect inner dialectic in this movement. From this point of view, this slogan no belong more to the people. Till this day, till this morning, okay, that was the slogan of PKK, but it is not more the slogan of PKK, you know. What a movement choice and uh, uh, took and take from the reality, from the language, from the music, from, from all the things. Your point is very important and, and, and is and what, you're, what you're getting at is that the continuities evolve based upon you know the moment within which ignites a response or a reaction to some particular event and i think that that's very important so when you're talking about this this dialectic and and what can be done is that we have to be clear about what is happening within the movement at the same time how does that connect you know historically but also how do we see a different future am i Am I am I getting that you know this dialectic part, uh, and the movement is going to determine, you know, what happens next in the in the future? What what, what yeah the, the the opportunities for the opportunities for change the, to come. So the dialectic part, the, so the part the part of the dialectic is what is happening internally. Uh, how is past informing the present? And then the possibilities for the future, because you're talking about this event, this recent uh, violent act of, um, you know, killing the young lady. But you're also talking about that this also has some historical significance, but the continuities may not look exactly the same as they were in the past. Okay, let, let, let me come back uh, to the subject of some role. Uh, yesterday we, we spoke about that, you know, uh, I will call my people whom that was not my people, I will call beloved one who was not beloved, you know, okay. Um, uh, that, is, that is a question between uh, it is about, you know, in this continuity, in this dialectic of movement, in this dialectic of movement that showed us, shown us in the time, in the time of the Exodus, that we could, there are, it is possible to, to create another entity, another body, political body between the people and the gentles, you know, between these two parts. That is what came back. 
since uh, this week, you know, see, one, one week ago. That is what came back. That is just, it is about a chance, you know, to say the, to, to see it, you know, that is the chance to see it. That is, uh, let me go back to, 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 to Benjamin, you know, the orange, the orange in the, in the night, in the night of the, of the world, in the night of the history, that is some moment that brusquely, that show us there are something there. We could, uh, we could work on it. We could see, see this, this, this part, this something that was uh, not clear, that was invisible, you know. They show us there is, there is something to see the, you know, the, this movement and that, is, that this movement, this moment could be the small, uh, the small door from which the missing came, you know, it is about that, it is about the chance, you know, there are not the guarantee, but, but in, with each movement, there are the new subjects that create itself. And when we became the subject of a movement in the emancipatory movement in the in a emancipatory politic, uh, we it is impossible to go to the yesterday. You know, something changed basically in the subject when we participate in something revolutionary when 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 uh, someone uh, understand or uh, you know uh, taste you know the pleasure or the joyousness of the liberty maybe just for one or he or she became another one became another one what will happen I have not idea, but I'm sure all these people that have participated in this moment are already changed. They are the subject of something, something new, something new, especially me, you know. I know there was something ignored by myself that was the question of gender inequality as the essential question you know uh, since yesterday or one week i was uh, someone that spoke about the class struggle i am uh, on, uh, now for this idea but there are something more there are something more you must to understand what happened what's about gender inequality you know because, for example, as uh, there, upon the research of one of my friends, my Kurdish friends, you know, the minority has treated in the history as woman. Okay, as woman, minority and woman is the same thing. Okay, in this sort of power, let's say, uh, by criticizing this discourse, we could save or liberate or something the minority too. And also, you know, that, that is some idea. I think there is a new subject that is the time of creation, a new subject politics. And we will see, and um, uh, I am in some sort sure something will happen, basically this time, but it's because the first time that we received something like the question of gender inequality in general. We spoke about that, but we had not the movement in the name of gender inequality. That is so new. Uh, honestly, thank you. That That is actually a perfect way to put a pin in the conversation. <laughs> and we're not, we're not, we're not concluding. We must, we must write about yeah. that James, yeah. together as group, as two person, I don't know me, mm -hmm. you and Arabic, we could, we could, and we, we could, and maybe we must to write about, about this thing, you know, because I know, for example, grace to the Tony Morrison, I know, I know, I know, I I could imagine myself really, to be frank, honestly, as a 
Tess in the beloved Roman, you know, mm -hmm. the one that must to kill her children because they have mm -hmm. not the food to give and because she prefer that her um, her children not be a slave. I understand very weird. And in my in my skin, in my body, uh, I was sometimes in autonomous.
Thank you for listening to Terrains of Struggle, Continuities and Freedom Dreams, a mini radio documentary that was designed to explore possibilities, radical possibilities, and how they become material, how they be brought to life through resistance, rooted in the assertion of a people's collective humanity, and how this process is transmitted in time and across space. More importantly, we were interested in what can they tell us about ourselves, each other, and our relationship with land as a fundamental component of freedom, what are the continuities and conceptualization of autonomy, and the role of culture in struggle. We hoped something was shared that will inspire you to think critically and act accordingly, to build a global commons of struggle, where we move beyond symbolic solidarity to material exchange. Until we meet again, we leave you with the words of Marcus Garvey. Look for me in a world when I was calm. Look for you have grave. I shall come back with countless millions of black men and women who have died in America, those who have died in the West Indies, and those who have died in Africa to aid you in the fight for liberty, freedom, and life. In struggle, peace and light. running every night. You just gotta hold on, brother. Lose yourself. Don't let them make you lose yourself. You know?